Welcome back. I was on TikTok this morning, and I saw this hilarious video of this really awesome migrating tree frog who... Wait, I'm sorry. I could be wrong here, but I think I smell some smoke, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for Yabert Myers Family Edition. Welcome to the burn zone. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through and not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Woo! Piping hot pilgrim. First up, cranberries. Let's face facts. The cranberry is a bad fruit. There's a reason that when the Native Americans introduced them to the pilgrims, the pilgrims returned the favor with smallpox. If I wanted something gross, fruity, and can-shaped, I'd just have a Bud Light Limerita. Sideburn Bud Light Limerita. Cyber. And by the way, I don't care that cranberry juice helps prevent urinary tract infections, which is something I've caught literally less than 40 times my whole life. Hey, cranberries, you're round, you're tart, and you're burnt. Parsnips. Are carrots too bright and delicious for you? Then you'll love their sallow, bitter cousins, parsnips. Foodies insist on foisting these bitter bastards on you, but even if you're able to power through a small helping, the visual will still remind you of that time you walked into the bathroom at the exact same moment your grandfather was getting out of the tub. <laughs> Stay underground, you pale perversions of nature. Parsnips, you burnt. Whoever invented stuffing? Stuffing may be delicious, but can we, for a second, at some point, address the fact that somebody said, let's shove a wet loaf of bread inside a dead bird's ass? I mean, even the guy who invented green bean casserole had to, had to look at the guy and say, uh, Jesus, Carl, uh, everything all right at home? Or, or maybe maybe it was, it was an accident. Uh, maybe a guy told his wife, I'm going to quit carbs. And then she came home early from work, and right as he was about to eat a loaf of sourdough, and he thought, where can I hide this that she'll never look? <laughs> Whoever invented stuffing, go stuff yourself. You burnt. Hand turkeys. Who was the art teacher with the hangover that came up with this scam? Ruthie? It looks like a turkey was asked to draw a turkey. And kids, would you stop drawing the hand turkey with a smile? This is not a happy day for him. If you're gonna draw him with anything, it should be a pilgrim with an appetite and a cleaver. Hey, hand turkeys, if you can draw five fingers, you can draw one. Oh, I don't wanna do the middle finger, it's too mean. You're burnt. <laughs> Saying grace, look, I know it's your recently converted aunt's favorite part of the meal, but the rest of us have no self-control and just want to eat. And by the way, I'm sure your mom's thrilled with thanking God for the meal she spent seven hours making by herself. And mom, I'd love to help with the dishes, but the Detroit Lions aren't going to watch themselves. The only thing ever worth praying for on Thanksgiving is that grandma doesn't blurt out the N-word again. She grew up at a different time. Saying grace, you burnt. Ah, the downstairs bathroom. The closest you can get to a porta potty without visiting a construction site. Turns out the smell of vanilla spice doesn't pair as well with the post-dinner dumps as you'd hoped. I don't care how many tiny soaps shaped like shells your mom puts down there, it's never gonna feel like a day at the beach. And why is the toilet seat in there so spongy? Is the idea to feel another butt against my butt? The downstairs bathroom. I must have lit too many matches because you burnt. Inflatable holiday decorations. If you want to make your house look like a used car lot, be my guest. But can you at least keep an eye on your air levels? One day, an oversized Frosty the Snowman is waving at me. The next day, he's laying splat, flattened on the ground. Was it the cold? The COVID? Either way, no one wants to see a beloved holiday character looking like the Wicked Witch minus her ruby red slippers. I know you can keep them inflated. As, as it's clear, you blow. <laughs> Inflatable holiday decorations, you burnt. Ah, uh, 
November. <laughs> An entire month listening to men talk about trials and tribulations of growing a mustache as they raise money for charity. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm all for raising awareness of men's health issues. But do you remember when men ran marathons to raise money? Anybody remember the ice bucket challenge? All you're doing is not shaving. Also, mustaches, they aren't a silly joke. On the right face, they look great. Take me for example. I'm basically Tom Selleck without the reverse mortgages. Cyber PI. <laughs> Remember, you're gonna need a stiff upper lip because you're burnt. Up next, the rolls. The rolls, oh no! Oh no, 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 the rolls, oh no, oh, the rolls. The rolls, you're burnt. Hey, Seth, since I'm not coming home this year, you mind if I burn mom and dad's house real quick? Yeah, sure, go for it. Dad's laptop. Want to feel like you're back in the 1950s? Then try doing some work on dad's laptop. If this was the only computer NASA had to get the Apollo 13 astronauts home, we'd still be finding their space bones. I'm not saying the internet is slow on this bad boy, but if you want to know the weather, the fastest way to use it is to prop open the window with it and then stick your head outside. At least ever since it lost its ability to hold a charge, you'll be tethered to the kitchen counter, just like how a laptop's not supposed to work. But don't worry, he just got more memory installed, which just means that poor machine won't be able to forget how long it's been dying for. Face it, Dad, it's time to pull the plug because your laptop is a crap top and its circuits are fried. Dad's laptop, you burnt. Mom's car. Finally, a car that simulates getting in an old roller coaster where the safety bar doesn't come down. Not only does the seatbelt on the passenger side of mom's car not work, there's a cushion to sit on that slides back and forth with each turn like you're a member of the J Jamaican bobsled team. No airbag, no cry. And if you weren't tense enough, it's 30 degrees outside and she has the top down because that's what convertibles are for. In her defense, she didn't know it would be this cold. She Googled the weather on dad's laptop and it told her it was Tuesday. Mom's car, you burnt. Up next, vegans. Oh, not only will you not eat any of the delicious turkey I brand overnight and have been cooking for the last five hours, but you also want me to use fake butter on all of my side dishes. Otherwise, you'll just sit there with a plate emptier than that hollow look on your colorless face. I spent too long in the kitchen to listen to this bitch and vegans, you burnt. Sufi, Poshy is a vegan now. Oh, sorry, Posh. I forgot. It's okay. Up next, turkey. Looking for a centerpiece to your holiday feast? Then look no further than the ugliest bird in the forest. Keep telling yourself how much you like it, even though you only cook them a maximum of two times a year because of how much of a pain in the ass it is. Also, stop bragging about how much your bird weighs. Because to me, that just sounds like you overcompensating for your tiny giblets. Besides, they don't get that fat out in the wild. So if you really want to talk turkey, then let's talk about where your plumped up gobbler grew up. Oh, right. We can't. Because there are ag gag laws that prevent us from showing any images of what goes on at places like turkey farms. Because then it might kill an industry by turning more of us into vegans while simultaneously saving the environment. And why would we ever want to do that? Jesus, Josh. Sorry. Turkeys. You burn. Up next, vaccine trial volunteers. Listen, oh, that buzzer means we're out of time. So looks like I'll have to burn you selfless do-gooders next time. This has been Your Bird.